is Tracy with World War One Games here, and I have so many exclusives. So we're gonna cover the exclusives, and then of course, remember I told you guys I had started collecting the Vinylmations. I got my first nine-inch Vinylmation, and I'm just really excited to share that with you. So let's get started. So let's start with um, a license that has not been done. Not really. I mean, there was Isma in the core line, like that was the last year, I think. Um, but we have, we've never seen a, a, a Kronk bag. So in Cordy's Corner, I want to shout out to Shona of the Cordy's Corner. She did this gorgeous bag. So this is uh, Gronk and then Isma. And isn't this just beautiful? I mean, like, I am just so excited to have this in my collection. So let's start with the applique. So there are several layered appliques because this is an applique and the colors are really, you know, vibrant and bright. And I do love that. Now, the only thing is, of course, you know, when they get shipped, they kind of do this. So I am going to um, have to work on flattening him out a bit so his hands are straight versus the bent back. But that just happens in shipping uh, and because they're in plastic to protect it. So it's not a big deal. This, especially if I take like a, um, a hair dryer, um, not on hot, but on warm and um, just heat it up a little bit so that I can straighten him out. Um, so then we have the ears, which are another applique and it's layered. Um, and then of course we have some really beautiful um, paint effect. If I turn it this way, you can really see. Like they're really flying down on a roller coaster. So I do like that. And then this is lovely. This is printed, but they did such a good job because like all the colors are really bright and they pop. And so you see everything. And so we turn to the side. This is where our, um, our tag is. And I like that it's a different color of blue because I, you know, I love all of those little color accentuations. And um, it has gold hardware, the gold tone hardware. See, and on the back, it's printed. Isn't it gorgeous? So gorgeous. It says, Yzma, put your hands in the air. See? Love it. Um, and I, it just really flows. Um, they did a really good job. The print is very, very, very bright. So um, the one thing I like to mention about bags that have just print without the debossing and embossing in the back is make sure to treat your bags so that when you wear something that has like a, a rough texture it's not going to scrape at your bag now let oh of course it has side pockets always a plus um this is technically the new pocket but i love how they see if you look really close you can see they they really put the rim nice and high so you don't actually see the zipper love that and we have a dark bottom, which we love because, you know, you always put your bag down in icky stuff. So, um, it is super cute. And let's look at the lining because we care. We do. We care. Um, so it has like, see the purple lightnings like that. And of course it does have an inner zipper pocket. So this is a fabulous bag, Cordy. It's corner. Love it. Love it. I mean, it's something I don't have in my collection, you know, and that's what I like to, to broaden um, my collection. We know I love Disney and that's a Disney license, so it's really cute. Okay, so next I have from Grotto Treasures. I love Grotto Treasures. I, the owner, she's wonderful. Um, as a small shop, it's really nice and you can have that kind of relationship with one another. And um, she did a beautiful, so I haven't seen this done with a Disney bag and I think that it is amazing. Um, the only thing is, and I do love the bag, so don't do not mistake that. Okay, um, with the new pocket versus the OG pocket, we would have gotten the whole of the print, which would have been really beautiful. Um, but I do love this one, and she got me great placement. So let's have a look. Very close. See, it's um, so it's under the sea splash. Um, and of course, I love how it says under the sea here and then BFF and Ariel. So it's a really beautiful print. I was afraid originally that it would not be um, strong enough. The colors, it would be too, uh, you know, um, pastel, but it's not. It's so beautiful in person. They did a, a fabulous job. 
So we have our black trim, our silver hardware, more black trim, and of course we have side pockets, which we absolutely adore. And on the back, you get literally um, all of the little pictures, and I do love that. This is so beautiful. I love this print. Um, they should make a crossbody to go with it. That would be fabulous. So let's look inside at our lining, because we are trying to be expedient. Oh, I love this lining. Look at this, guys. It's so gorgeous. I love this lining. Love it. Love it. So if you're a placement person, um, this, you know, this bag, it, you probably care about placement. And I, I definitely think that I got great placement here. Absolutely love it. We have our lounge fly tag here. All the colors uh, contrast. You know, we have the black because, you know, it's a comic strip. And, of course, you see the black in between the little comic strips. I just love it. I really love it. And this is important, guys. A black bottom. Again, we don't like to stick our print in the ick, so it's wonderful that they, they did that. Um, and then, of course, the piping along the bottom is also black. Beautiful. And I love how, um, see, it has the Grotto sticker, so you know it was Grotto Treasures. Beautiful. Love this bag. Now I just need a dress to match it. I just need them to make that print into a dress or I need to find the fabric so I can have one made for myself. So next is um, from Collection Lounge. Okay, and so I have never really um, collected Pokemon. Um, it's a new thing, mainly because um, my sons really love Pokemon. And so my second son, Brayden, you know, the buff one I'm always talking about. So he was like, Mom, what if I have, you know, kids? And I'm like, what do you mean, what if? You better have kids. So good looking. But he's like, you know, what if, you know, they're, they're girls and they're into Pokemon, you know, or even little boys, you know, and they are into Pokemon. So he was like, Mom, can you collect some of the Pokemon bags that way? Because they know that eventually, you know, my grandkids will probably inherit my collection. I, there's no time to wear them all because I have so hit a thousand. We are way, we're like probably at 1,006 as of today because I got four new bags. So this is from Collection Lounge. It is the Pokemon all over print. Um, and of course, I... I got two of them, one for me and then one is for a friend. And um, I picked the better placement. I know, terrible, right? Terrible selfishness. They were both good placements, but um, I wanted uh, more of the Squirtle on my bag because that, that's that's the one I like. Um, and then lots of Pikachu. And I like that the Pikachus, if you look, uh, and the Squirtles, they're not all doing the same thing. See, this Pikachu has an ear down. This one has both ears up. So it's nice. It's very nice. And of course it has side pockets. We love, we love. I would have liked it if there was more Charmander I, on the front. I got cut off heads. See? <laughs> so side pockets. We have silver hardware. We have our tag here. And I love that it says Pokemon. I love it when, it when it does that so you identify the license. Um, so now let's have a look on the inside because of course it matters. Oh, cool. It's little Pokeballs. I would have liked it better if the Pokeballs had been the different color Pokeballs, you know, so just this white. Um, it would have looked better if they had been like all the different colored Pokeballs. But other than that, it's really cute. I do like it. And um, of course, like I said, it's my first Pokemon bag in my collection. Um, in my next video, I'll show you the Piplup from the Coraline because I loved that. My son loves penguins. So that was a must for my collection. Okay, next is Pink All Mode. Hi, Curtis over at Pink Ola Mode. Um, so I got your bag today. And this one I was excited about. Because I do love Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. Um, and the cool thing about this one is it has the poof ball. The poof. I like the poof. I want to see more bags of poof balls. Because I actually get those um, uh, keychains with the poof balls to add to my bag. Because I do. I love the poof. It's so soft. And look, see, she has this cute little string bow right here. I think that's a lovely touch. And if you get really close and you look at her face, you'll see that her eyes and her eyebrows are embroidered. And look at how bright her beautiful blue eyes are. I just love it. Love it. And then we have embossing and debossing on the front pocket. And this is super cute. I love it. See, there's also some embroidery. Um... Oh, no, it's not embroidered. It's just silver. Uh, my bad. My bad. But it is very cute. I do love it. Um, and then the silver here, you can tell that there's a, a texture difference. So we do. We like that. Um, and this has kind of a, if you look to the side, it has like a, a thicker pocket. Mainly, I think, because the applique is on the front. 
Um, and I know that some people, they weren't sure about this, but I think that it looks beautiful because it's her dress. Um, so I do, I really like that. And then we have our tag on the side. We love this breaking up of the colors, different greens, and you can definitely tell the difference and see side pockets. This has got to be one of my favorite things on the bag these straps i love holographic i love holographic i'm still trying to get that air in bag because it's got holographic i'm a bling 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 girl so there it is if you look on the back it says tink and it is debossed so if you don't know the difference between debossing and embossing debossing is pushed in embossing is pushing out so they're literally just polar opposites but isn't this gorgeous i just love these straps let's look at the inside uh, you know, I like I said, I know that there were a lot of people that were on the fence about this bag. I wasn't immediately. I was like, love, love, love. And see, we have a really beautiful um, inside. The only thing is it's blue, and I kind of feel like maybe it should have been some yellow or green. But it is a nice color breakup. And there is some blue in her eyes. So, I mean, that's doable. I just can't. These straps are my favorite. I just love, love iridescent. And holographic they're fabulous so yay this is an a plus i love it i don't care about all the naysayers all you haters nope it's a no and then my last bag because it is going to be a short video so sorry but i have to go to dinner i mean you see me I'm all decked out in my unique vintage and it every day is halloween for me it is if i say it is don't really care I just love this outfit. It's super cute. See? And I even paired it with a beautiful belt and some crinoline. By the way, Unique Vintage does have a sale right now. It's 40% off um, what they consider their holiday dresses. And then the sales section, there's all kinds of other dresses, shirts, shoes, and accessories. So if you need something to match your bag, you have got to stop by Unique Vintage. I love it. Love, love, love it. So last bag is the convention pop um, Edward Scissorhands. So it took me a while to get this bag. I had to get it off Mercari because I wasn't, I wasn't sure about it, you know, until I saw it in person at LA Comic Con and I was like, oh, I need that bag. It's just the dead eye thing. It's kind of a, like a pop, Blah. dead eyes, dead eyes. But if you look at it, it's very Edward Scissorhands. I love it. There is all this texture in the bag. The hair, it has, um, you can see it has debossing. Uh, so that you can, it feels like hair. You can feel the curly, swirly bits of his hair. Then we have the eyes that are embossed. Remember what I said? Emboss is pushed out. Deboss is in. So his eyes are embossed. And then we have this lovely detail where they did some debossing for the wrinkly things in his face. And then his little hands that are in plastic. Oh, I'm having a tough time getting the plastic off. Anyway, so the hands, as you can see, are they stick out. I do worry that they might get caught on something and detach. So I will have to be careful with this bag. But he has silver hands and they move because they're held on by a brad. See? I love that. Movable hands. And then um, these are, they are, are they real metal or are they? No, I think it's painted plastic. But it's meant to look like real metal. And so it's a very 3D effect. And I absolutely love that. But the brads, they are real metal. So these are real metal. And then this is painted plastic, but I love it. It's really um, a, a fabulous uh, texture technique, you know, some 3D in your bag. And then if you look at the sides, um, they uh, made this soft, poofy pattern. And of course we have side pockets and we love them. Look here, we have our tag, it's pop. And then the um, hardware is that uh, coppery, I'm trying to remember what the name of that color is, but it's not quite copper, but it's not quite gold. And so let's have a look on the inside because, oh, on the back it just says, I can't. So let's have a look inside. So it does have a pocket, but it's not a zipper. It's just a, um, like one of those fabric sliding pockets. See? And it says pop and Edward sits her hands in his little face. So it's a very detailed um, lining. So I do really like the bag. Um, oh, I didn't see it. there's something on the top too. Okay, it says hold me 
And then it says I can't. Okay, now I get it. See? Because remember, Ezra says his hands because of his scissors. She said hold me, and he says I can't. I get it now. So I, I do love the bag, and I'm really glad that I got it. And I don't think I paid too much over retail. I think it was like $102. Um, and that shipped. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, but I really do like it very, very much. It's going to add it to my con collection because I have a whole collection of con bags. We should probably do a video about that. So now it's my vinyl nation. So you guys, I told you I started collecting these. The little ones. This is my first nine inch. I really love it. Um, there's a super cute little driver here and his head is meant to look like a car. But I do. I just think it's really cute. I'm not just collecting anyone. I am kind of picky about which ones I'm collecting. But I am glad to add this to my collection. It is super cute. I haven't decided if I'm going to take it out of the box yet. I took the, some of the little ones out. But the big one, I kind of feel like, mm, I don't know yet. I think maybe if I get a new shelf or like a glass case to put it in, that I might actually take it out of the box. But for now, it's going to stay in the box. All right, guys. So, you know, there's lots more exclusives coming out um, in the, you know, the new year. Uh, definitely uh, check us out. And um, Darkwing Duck is arriving any day now, so we're super excited about that. Sell out. Hey. Yeah, I love that bag. And if you're a Darkwing Duck fan, you got to keep watching us because there's more to come. So that's all I got for you today. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye.